everyone, if you're new here, my name is Anna and welcome back to my channel. For today's video it's going to be a Primark haul. I went to Primark today, um, this morning and just to put things quite like bluntly, it was pretty rubbish. Um, I went in there, I hadn't been to Primark since before Christmas and I did have the, I'm not going to lie, like I did go in there with the intention of getting quite a few bits so I could film a haul because I do love to share what's new in there. A lot of people do ask me to actually film these to show them what's new in there. So I went in there today and it was absolutely rubbish. <laughs> there was literally nothing in there whatsoever. Um, it was very much, obviously, like I understand this January, it's going to be very in between seasons but to the point where they were selling bikinis and swimming costumes um most people i know a lot of people obviously do not do like go on holiday now um but a lot of people more people go on holiday like around may we could at least get the january months out of the way and still just have a few things in there i literally did especially go in there as well because i wanted another i wear like my black turtleneck a lot probably more than i should i wear it literally like a lot of the time <laughs> and i went in there to get another one and there was nothing in there like that at all there's a lot of camis summer wrap dresses i'm i'm here for the summer stuff i love the summer stuff in there but i'm just not ready for it yet it was like when i went out today it was three degrees it was cold i can't be thinking about buying summer dresses yet so i did go in there to get a few wintry bits um i didn't really succeed i got a couple jumpers maybe like one um i got the coat which i actually did go in there for and then just a few bits and accessories so i thought i'd still never there show you what i did get in total i spent 56 pound which obviously is not as much as, as i would usually spend in there but nevertheless i thought i'd still show you what i did get so yeah so i did get some clothes um the first thing to start off with are these trousers oh this matches my pillow and these were these trousers um if you watch my videos from last year you'd have seen i got a lot of collops from primark last year when testing out i bought a pair of asos ones when i went to dubai they were quality of them were literally insane compared to the primark ones the primark ones literally felt like tissue paper compared to them but i'm not gonna be spending 30 pound on a pair of collops every time i buy a new pair so i did cave back in and buy some more from Primark and these are just these polka dot ones they're really nice and I loved how they've got the tie waist you'll be able to see them properly when I try them on and they were really nice I do think they were quite expensive for the price of £13 I did think it was quite expensive I know I did pay that I think I paid £10 last year but I don't know if I'm paying £3 for the tie um, I'm not sure but I did really like them and I do love a little bit of polka dot I think again around this time of year with a long sleeve back turtleneck but then if you go into the summer months maybe with a black cami or a white cami or any proper colour this could look really nice and I just thought they were really nice so I hope they fit and they're not see-through so we'll see I got them um, for reference in just a size 20 um, sometimes these fit a bit iffy like sometimes they'll fit and sometimes they won't so I see what the sizing's like I know the new and improved sizing came out sort of after summer so these might fit a little bit different but these actually haven't got those tag on so I see what they feel like. So this is what the trousers look like. I don't really like them. I feel like they feel very, very bad quality. They're very see-through and they don't fit the best for what size they are. I've had things before which have fit a lot bigger and I just don't feel like they do me a lot of justice. <laughs> I know and I just wish they sort of fit and I think maybe close to the time I might be able to get something a little bit better quality maybe from somewhere else. The pair of trousers I got these ones I was a bit suspicious about these um what they'd actually fit like or what they actually were they are um, I got these in a size 20 and they just say jogger on them but they feel a lot like sort of like um not what's this material called you know like if you used to get like a summer like cami top it feels like that material but in trousers and then they feel like a summer pair of trousers it feels like that material but in trousers and then they feel like a summer pair of trousers um they're really they're really nice looking i think just for casual wear they'd go really nice if you worked in an office you could wear them as well but just that they'd be quite nice for everyday wear this time of year or again into the spring summer season um but they say jogger on them i wouldn't class them as joggers but that's what they say on them they do have um and what i really didn't like about these what i realized when i got home i thought they had pockets they don't they're like invisible ones so that did sort of turn me off i'm not sure about those um but nevertheless have 13 pound i'll try them on i'll see what they look like on i do always like a pair of trousers like this because i'm not the biggest fan of jeans I hate wearing jeans they're so uncomfortable so yeah we'll try them on the next thing I did actually go in there to get, I saw this on quite a few people's haul and I've seen it on Instagram. And I absolutely love this. This is the Aviator jacket. This was in their sale for £15. 
I thought that was quite a good price for an aviator jacket and I really really like it. I like I think I would have preferred one with black fur. I do really like this one and I think it's a quite a bit more stylish and I usually wear my black denim joke joke coat a lot of the time so i thought this a little bit more stylish 30 pound reduced for 15 so it was in a sale i didn't really cave down everyone was like oh my god there's a sale in primark i didn't really cave down and go in there because one i knew it was gonna be really busy and two i didn't really just see there being a lot of a lot of like sale stuff so i saw this there was a few there and i had one in my size i got 20 um it fits um i tried this one in there because i didn't want to get it and not fit um it did fit and i do really like it and it is so soft in the inside so i do really like this i'll show you guys what it looks like on and again i think it'd look really nice with like over the dresses or like long dresses and jumpers and tops so i'm really excited to try it try it and see what it looks like on and i can't wait to style it and take some photos in it so this is what the jacket looks like i really really like it let me know what you think this costs 15 pound and i really like it i just don't really think it looks like it's from primark i've wanted to cope like this for so so long and i'm just really happy with it and last but not least, the only item, the last item of clothing I got was this jumper. This was £13. It seems to be a regular recurrence. It seems to be £30 in there at the moment. That seems like a lot of jumpers are priced at that. And this is just a leopard print jumper. I'm not sure about this one. I picked it up in the shop and it looked nice. And I got it home and I was like, I don't actually know if I like it or not. I love the print, but sometimes I just don't like the fit of these. I think they might sit on me funny. But um, I'll see what it's like and what it looks like on. I think this would look really nice with like a long skirt. And we have like black collots, like wide leg ones. I think that could look quite stylish and nice. And again, underneath that coat, I think it could look like a potential outfit. I got it in the XL, which is an 18 to 20, which I'm not a big fan of that size. And I used to prefer it when they just had the 18 or the 20. I feel like these do actually, although they call it the improved size, and I feel like it fits smaller. So I'll see what it fits like. But nevertheless, I do... I do really like the pattern, but I'm just not sure if it's a bit of me. But I'm trying to branch out this year and wear things different, so we'll see. I wouldn't pair these two together, but I do actually really like this. It's a nice length and it fits really nicely. I feel like it clashes a little bit with my makeup. But I do really like it and just think it's different. And yeah, it's a good, it's not too thick, so I think it'll be a good like piece for like transitional wear. So I really, really like it. The next thing I've got are these, and these are the softest slippers I have ever felt. They were literally £2, and they're slipper socks. But like, little pom-poms on the end. They are so, 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 so soft. And, yeah, they've got, like, the little grips as well on the floor. So if you've got wooden floor in your house, you ain't going to slip over. Um, I really like them. They had them in a ton of different colours, and I just picked one pair up, and they were £2. Next time I just picked up some eyelashes a few months ago. I picked up a pair of lashes from Primark, and they were £5, and they were Primark ones. I thought, I thought that was just quite steep, and they weren't very good quality. But I saw these ones. These are the, the 3D Iconic Pulse Eyelashes, and these look like such such good like spiky faux fur ones like faux mink ones and i can't wait to try these out so i was really happy with those they are called the 3d iconic false lashes glue included they just look really feathery and really nice and i was thinking i could get some more maybe some clients if they're really good because obviously they're such a good price as well and i think they look like they've got quite a good lash bounce. They might last a long time as well. So I'll see how they got on. I'll definitely let you know if I do a tutorial with them and stuff. But I'm really excited to try those. And they look really good. And last but not least, at the moment, I'm really into hair clips, hair grips. And um, that's just pretty much it. Um, I love like little details in my hair and like just little embroidered stuff. And just generally like jazzing it up a bit more to make it a little bit more exciting. And I really wanted one that said something on it. And obviously... I didn't really expect Primark to have anything like that. Um, so I'm going to have a look about for something like that. But I did see this one. I really liked it. Um, I'm not sure about the pearl one. But I might be able to make it work. But I really liked the glittery one. They didn't have a lot in there. They just had a lot of like really big ones. And just not really very me. And they just had a lot more like hair clips. Like big um big ones so more like crocodile clips. So I just got these ones. They were £2. So I presume it was like £1 each. But they just... But they are really pretty. This one looks so nice. The glittery one just looks really nice and really good quality. And then when you put your hair in a bun and put one at the back, they look quite nice too. So I thought like for just going out or going to events and stuff, that could look really cool. So I'm really excited to try these out. And yeah, I can't wait. So that was it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I'm not going to lie. I really was underwhelmed and not impressed by what they had in. I was really excited to go out. I thought I'd left it quite a long time and they might have quite a few pieces. The shop was a mess. There just wasn't really a lot in there and there was no sizes. I just generally was not 
impressed. <laughs> but I really hope you like the enjoyed the video nevertheless. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if there's any other videos you'd like to see, whether it be a plus size fashion or just hauls or testing out clothes from anywhere else, please do let me know down below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!